Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. Got a little chill in the air this morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Yes, I've been to church. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but today, guys, I'm going to stop being lazy, and I'm going to put this little bed together. Yeah, I'm going to do it today. But right now, y'all, it's game time. Mm -hmm. Y'all know. I'm a big Saints fan, but it's game time. So when the game is over, I'm coming back. Well, if the game is, <laughs> if the game is going the way I think it should go, uh, yeah, then uh, after the game. But if not, I'm going to come back before. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I hope all is well with you and your families today. Yeah. But... Yeah, we're going to get this little bed together. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yeah. <laughs> Out here in this garden and it is a beautiful beautiful day y'all absolutely absolutely gorgeous it uh the humidity is very low and it is bright and it's just wonderful wonderful so My lips are getting chapped. Mm. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get started on this bed. Yeah, because I'm thinking I want to take half of this bed and plant my garlic in, and maybe the other half, I'm going to plant the onions in. Why not? Huh? Yeah, why not? Let's get busy. <laughs> There it is, y'all. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Well, it wasn't really that hard, but, you know, it was time consuming. But today is still Sunday, and it's all done. Yeah. So this is just some, you know, perlite. Got some bone meal in here. Lots of bone meal because of what I'm going to drop in here and um, I have a little blood meal in here I have some uh, what else I have in this I have a little lime in here uh, I have some oh I'll put it up there what I have in here <laughs> All right, but let me share. That's the way they look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Whew. It's almost at the end of the day, and 
Well, end of the day for me being in the garden. I've been out here all day. Yeah. Look at these greens, y'all. Oh. It'd be good when I eat them. <laughs> but, um, I just watched the final plays of the Saints game. So I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Love Teddy B though. Love him. But it was a good game. Yeah. Oh. Everything looks really good. Healthy here today. So, let me share. <laughs> Usually, I would have been um, watered my garden, but it's been such a busy morning, just crazy busy. But one thing for sure, they ain't thirsty. <laughs> no, they good. They good. Yeah. They good. So, let me share with you all the finishing of this little bed here. Yeah. This stick fell in a bit in the garden bed from the tree. That's all right. I'll get him. And this is the one I built today. Now, are these beds perfect? No, <laughs> not by any means. But my goal was not perfect. No, that was not my goal to, to make a perfect bed. No, my goal was to make a raised bed. That's the goal. And that's what I've done here today. And I'm so very, very happy it's up and done. And now <laughs> I'm going to drop the garlic in one side. And on this side, I'm going to drop onions. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all going to be great. Oh. But it was a long day, guys. Long day. But you know, all of that just make you strong. Just make you strong. Yeah. Oh, wait, let's see. So, now if you all remember, I dropped out those purple angel trumpets with you all. So, Here's, here's the, here you are, right here. They're coming up. That is them. And I'm gonna put those in the front, in the front garden. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave them back here. Yeah. Mm hmm They are going in the front of the house. All right, we've had a beautiful day. All is well, y'all. I hope your day is uh, going great also, but. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going, oh, let me get these some water because, yeah, look at this. The first garlics are coming up. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. But uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to go in and grab something to eat, and then I'm going to come back, and uh, I'm going to bring y'all with me when I drop these bulbs. All right? All right, guys. Just here we are. It is about, oh, five o'clock, maybe? So I'm going to plant my onions here. So this is some of the garlic I got from Mr. George and this is that 
elephant garlic I was telling you all about. Look at that. That's one clove. So I purchased these from Lowe's. So there's two in each pack, and I'm going to plant that on that side. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> Planting this, uh, let's let's drop some of these uh, garlic. Yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So now I'm going to plant these onion sets. And this is how they come, like this, just like that. I'm sorry about my fingers, but y'all know I've been in this soil, right? <laughs> yeah. So, the thing about the onion set, you don't want to um, uh, plant it too deep, okay? Now, the wonderful thing about this package is that it has a little measurement right there on the side. And it says, is you know, you're your plants your onions should be four inches apart so i'm gonna just do this just for fun this time you know just gonna see so it's like here and what you want to do is just so you know just just poking out right there now the thing about it is i think that's too close to that wall yeah okay like that is that when you have something sticking up like that, it gives the birds and the squirrels, they get curious. What is that? What is that? And they get to pulling things up. So I'm gonna put two of these, okay? But no, I'm not gonna use that. But you know, for anybody who wants to use it, it's there. But you don't wanna plant them too deep, you know, and just cover, cover them up. Now, I see some gardeners use dibblers you know, those, it's, it's a little stick you use to put a hole in there. But, you know, fingers is good. Fingers is good. And I'm going to put it right there. So, you just want to get them, give them some space. Give them some space. And hopefully, when you give them that space, you're going to get yourself some nice onions. So, let me just give you the difference between growing onions from sets like this to dropping a seed for an onion. Onions are a cool season crop that requires 90 days or more to reach maturity. Because because of the long growing season requirements and their preference for cooler weather. Planting onion seeds directly into the garden in the spring makes it difficult for the bulbs to reach a good size um, before the warm temperatures arrive. Yeah, onions are um, slow growers yeah, and so it is said that the companion plant for for your uh, for your onions are any brassicas uh, like kohlrabi, also leeks and carrots. Now I'm not big on companion planting, but I will drop some kohlrabi and leeks with them. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just gonna. Go all the way down and and I'm just eyeballing. That's all, y'all. I'm just eyeballing it <laughs> just to um, give me an idea of where I think I should plant these because, you know, I'm not too big on oh, the perfect way, you know, for me, you know, it's, it's not about being perfect. You know, it's just about getting food, y'all. Just getting food. Uh oh, I knocked it loose. Yeah, there it is right there. So I'm trying to leave the little tip out for myself because <laughs> I see some space empty. I'm like, oh, I could plant something here. <laughs>
Yeah. So I'm going to put some tags up over here. Not that I should know that I have onion and garlic in this, these beds here, but we're going to do it like that. And I don't look like I'm going to have room for all of these onions, but that's okay. I will stick them in other parts of the garden. I will put them in beds and pots. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, they will get planted. That's for sure. I'm trying to see where my last garlic is. Oh, right there. All right. There's a garlic right there. So, oh, here's one right here. Okay. Look like I'm out of space, y'all. <laughs> That's okay. We did good. Did real good. I'll put one more right here. And that's it. Let me just put some soil over here. Put a little bit here. And everybody is happy in their new home. Hmm? All right. But anyway, guys, let me, uh, let's walk around. I want to show you some things that's been going on behind the scenes yeah <laughs> so of course we had so many hibiscus bloom this morning yeah I have some roses that's bloomed yeah so I want to I want to say this here is that sometimes when we have uh, when lots of new subscribers come on uh, there's so many things that I have talked about um, in many of the videos uh, that you wasn't a part of the channel when I said it. Or you wasn't a part of the channel when whatever was going on or, you know, something was growing, right? But many of those videos are so relevant and so many ways and tips and tricks of doing things is still relevant today but i find that a lot of times when new subscribers come on they don't go back and look into the videos and see some of the things that maybe they have missed they just keep looking for the new videos that's coming up right so this is why I like to say things that I think is important um, uh, on many videos. Yeah. There's some peppers growing. They, they're really growing. And this is what I found over here. Mexican sunflowers. Look at them. <laughs> they popped up over here. Yeah, and there's more coming. Look at you, girls. <laughs> Here is more sugar cane. <clears throat> but what I wanted to say is that to many people <clears throat> who is um, who is on food stamps, many people that is on food stamps, and you're just trying to make a living and get your keep your family fed, okay? You can purchase fruit seeds, vegetable seeds, herb seeds at Dollar Tree with your food stamps. You also can purchase fruit, herbs, and vegetable seeds from Walmart. But you can also purchase fruit trees uh, fruit bushes, <laughs> like blueberry bushes, um, any kind of fruit tree with food stamps at Walmart. So remember that. Any those onions, like onions and garlics that you grow, you can, if you find them at Walmart, you can purchase them with your food stamps. Any major store that takes food stamps. If they if they are selling a fruit tree and you want that fruit tree, 
you can purchase it with your food stamps okay i want you all to know that because many people this is how they are feeding their families okay this is how you're feeding your family and i want you to know this yes i want you to know this and the giant red mustards are looking good. And the green onions are really looking good. They are really looking good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And this is the plantains. <laughs> yeah, she's still breaking out wrecks, but... They are small, the bees are loving it still, but she's still putting on racks. So, she's doing good though. <laughs> yeah. These petals is really, really just, they just so big, she dropping them. <laughs> so big. So many of these four clocks. Look at the seeds, y'all. Sorry about my nails. That's the seeds to the four clock right there. And they just fall back down. Oh, that one is not ready. Oh, got it. <laughs> four clocks. Hey, girl. And more sugar cane. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's been wonderful. I've done, I've gotten a lot done today. Got a lot done today. And it's been a beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day also. Yes. Have a wonderful day. Later, y'all.